Hi, this is for um, <clears throat> trampled underfoot. Now, first thing about this is um, on YouTube, if you type in trampled underfoot rehearsals or even just trampled underfoot, you'll eventually come across um, a bunch of, um, some years ago, somebody swiped from Jimmy Page, I don't know how they got him, but a lot of the rehearsal tapes of them working up stuff over the years. And, they have, and, and it's been around for a long time. It used to be on vinyl. Um, and then, you know, you get it on cassette, and, you know, you get it on CD, and, and I got it a number of years ago. As far as it goes with the physical graffiti rehearsal stuff, it was called Tangible, Van tangible Vandalism, which was a play on physical graffiti, you know, physical, tangible, vandalism, graffiti. So, um, but as far as it goes with Trampled Underfoot, I think if you, if you listen to the, um, those rehearsals, and you can get them, again, easily on YouTube, Listen to that. You can sort of hear the sort of the gestation, or you know, sort of the process of the drum parts on, on uh, trampled underfoot. And of course, trampled underfoot isn't a diff. I mean, it just kind of just chugs along. But from what I garner myself is, I think by and large, what Bonham is playing on that tune is three, four. Now I do think, of course, you know, Bonham, you know, I, I, I think that's the busiest that versey part gets. I think, you know, there is just some... Here and there at certain parts it might not be real busy. Actually, to me at the head, at the very top of the tune, it kind of sounds like, actually I just listened to it, um, it does sound like maybe at the very beginning he's... But I think eventually as the song goes on, by and large it is... Um, but... Uh, but again, you hear when you hear these rehearsals of, that you'll find on YouTube, at the very beginning, uh, by, by the time the song kind of comes along, there's two separate tracks, I seem to remember, on the discs I had. And each track, which was, I don't know, maybe 16 minutes long or something, had different segments of, of subsequent, subsequent rehearsals. So I think on the two tracks, it might be, it almost sounds like at least three or four different rehearsals on later dates. So you can sort of hear this, the tune sort of come along. And you hear it now at the very beginning. Interestingly, Bonham actually funks it up a, sh a bunch. You know, it's like like he just he's playing like like he's really like funking it up. Uh, and it sounds kind of funky, you know, funky. But it, you know, it's kind of in the way when you're so familiar with trampled underfoot now, and you hear that, it's kind of after a while it sounds cool. But after a while, you're like, all right. And I'm sure they just pared it down. <clears throat> um, so, uh, but pretty much the whole song just sort of chunk, chug along. So you have 16 bars um, uh, of verse. Da 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 transmission, whatever it is. Da 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 Talk about love. Da 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 Talk about love. Da 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 And then they go into like a little, what I consider a bridge. Ba da 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 And the first one's just that. Da 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 And then it goes da 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 And it goes right back in. Subsequent ones of those are da 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 Okay? So, by and large in the song. But then when he gets to that part, when he gets into the, uh, talk about love, dun dun, talk about love, dun dun, dun dun, talk about da 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 So right before that climb, Bonham hits an extra note on the bass drum. So, Um, sorry, but the, the microphone gets sort of overloaded, so i got to wait sometimes to talk. Which I'm going to rectify that actually soon. I'm going to buy a much better camera with a nice mic and uh, get an Apple computer so I can actually edit these videos, which would be nice. Uh, but anyway, what he does is he goes, so talk about love, dun dun, ballet, and talk about love, dun dun, ballet, and talk about. Ballet, 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 ballet. Oh, wait, no, I'm a part ahead. So, uh, so. Out of the verse, out of the verse, talk about love, ba, 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 and talk about love, ba, ba.
you listen, you can hear him do that. He just, right before they go to the climb, da -da -da, da -da -da, he, he hits that last snare drum. He shores it up with the bass drum. Um, and then, of course, as the tune goes on, uh, there's a fly flying around down here, and it's driving me freaking crazy. Um, but as the tune goes on, he sort of, there is sort of a vestige of funky bottomness in it. Um, so as the song sort of does its long vamp at the end, sort of the guitar solo, da -la 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 -la, talk about love, da -da, ba -da, talk about love, da -da, and it just keeps going on, and, and Plant's kind of soloing, and, or I mean, Paige is sort of soloing, and Plant's kind of carrying on. Um, then you, my baby, my baby, and then you yeah, bottom kind of like... <laughs> Um, and then after he does it on the crash a couple times, he stops, not stops playing, but the song goes on, and then he starts throwing it on the hi-hat. But the accents are different, though. Yeah, uh, the, the, the accents he does in the crash occur like here, and then the cra accents he does in the hi-hat are here. So the last accent on the crash is the same as the first that comes later on the hi-hat. I'm sorry to write it out, but you'll know what I'm talking about. So then, you, you know, when, when, when a pay, uh, plant is like, push, da, ba, da, 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 push, you know, by that time, you know, bottom's like, ba, 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 Okay, that's, that's a lot like the funk he'd been putting in the early versions of the tune. That's what they ended up kind of keeping in the final version. Uh, an interesting thing is when Bonham does do that on the hi-hat, I think he's really hitting the hi-hat. I mean, he's like... I, mean, I think he's, he's laying into it. And also, too, I notice from where I'm sitting, Bonham uh, does kind of rush the second... Like, there's, like, again, it's little things. Like, he creates more of an urgency to the sound by instead of kind of, in my opinion, playing it straight... But anyway, so he does the E, um, what does he do? He does the, uh, whatever the note is. I can't remember, is it the, is it the, is it the E and the and? I think it's the E and the and, or the, or the yeah, it's the E and the and, and then the and and the uh. Anyway, um, the second note he does on the hat. In my opinion, the second one, he rushes a little bit, trying to, to give it more of an urgency, which is very cool. So instead of... It's really, so to me, sounds more like... saying like there's a difference between and I mean it's very subtle I just really think that that second bark he does with the bass room is sort of it's sort of pushed in a little quicker behind like oh, like just sort of like <laughs> like if you're walking, you know, when you're a little kid, well, my, when I was a little kid, my, like you'd be walking, you weren't walking quite fast enough, and your dad was annoyed or something, he'd give you a little, have a, <laughs> maybe a little, you know, push in the ass as you were going along. So it gives it that sort of effect, like that, you know, come on, uh, that classic bottom thing. Those guys were brilliant at doing that stuff. I mean, obviously, the cool thing with Zeppelin or with bottom, it's not so much that it was technically so crazy, but it was all in the art of doing it, where the notes landed and just how they did it. That, to me, is what's so special about it. Um, so you have that. Uh, and then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the tune. Again, listen to Trampled Underfoot, find it on YouTube, um, uh, you know, rehearsals, and you'll hear what I'm talking about. You can really hear that stuff a, a lot closer. Um, then, of course, at the end of the song, you hear Bonham, it sounds like he goes to the ride cymbal, and he plays, like, the bell of the ride, or the, or the shoulder of the ride cymbal for, like, a bar or two. Uh, you know, that could have happened. You know, I remember Jason Bonham was talking about it. He's like, oh, my dad made a mistake at the end of Trampled Underfoot. He went to the ride cymbal. 
But it's also possible, too, as a, as a pure production standpoint, they might have wanted to stretch the song out because maybe they felt like, you know, one of the, the great take they did didn't go on long enough at the end. So they might have taken other takes or cut and cloned something just to make that song just go on and on and on. You know, they used to do that then. Um, and it was obviously you'd have to splice the tape, as you know, you know, they splice the tape. And, but maybe there was another take they did where he went to the ride and they just didn't give a shit. And, he, you know, at the end of the tune, they just left it in or whatever. Or he maybe it was just one solid long take. But I always thought that was kind of interesting. You'd kind of hear him kind of pop over to the ride symbol, then you hear Jason Bonham talk about it. But anyway, that's Trampled Underfoot. So uh, thank you.